Moscow come to a halt again. Kleinfurt are going to have to be careful as they come past. And Kleinfurt is having to wait. Marshall should be guiding them through. Come to for it now. So they've got past. Last lap board goes out for Swinefoot. And uh, ISAT, they had to stop as well. Moscow, they've been pushed right out of the way. Now they've got time to restart the car, so. going to become the fourth car. It's complete endurance. Very well done, Schweinfurt. Their guys are very pleased with that. ISAT come through once more. Car 58, 64, 75. And uh, Moscow, I don't think they've managed to get restarted as yet. Degendorf come past once more. 78.603 for them this time by. As KTH Stockholm pull forward. Car 71. They had a lot of problems yesterday, but uh, look like they've solved them now. Sat across the line. Car 58, 64, 384. So they're picking up the pace. Uh, I think this is the end of the road for Moscow. They can't get the car restarted. So very unlucky for Moscow. They were going so, so well. laps from home when the Moscow car broke and yeah the drive's getting out so we've got ISAT who are now catching uh, KTH Stockholm and uh, yep KTH about to see the blue flag and ISAT goes up. Off. They're going to see the last lap board this time by. Legendorf trying to become the fifth car to complete endurance. The team said they wanted to be, be the best newcomer here and uh, they're certainly going a long way to making sure they can do that. We've 
we've got the Wolfenbüttel car, which is ready to go, as is Saarbrücken. And uh, Isaac cross the line. Page 8, Stockholm come through, car 71. Eggendorf now, only half a lap from home, and they've switched on the headlights. <laughs> Clearly happy with the uh, fact the battery's going to last this last bit of the uh, lap. Uh, Saarbrücken, car 50, come through. They're on the track, and here comes Eggendorf. Big round of applause. Fifth car's complete endurance, and he's flashing the lights. Well done, Degendorf. Very, very well done. First year team and uh, very impressive. Ice lap come through once more and they're getting close to challenging for the fastest lap of the day. 64.393 for them. Stockholm picking up the pace, car 71, this time by for them, is a 68.459. We've got uh, the Wolfenbüttel car, which is uh, ready to go, as is TU Berlin. Dagenhoff guys are certainly well, well happy with that. Down here with the Deggendorf guys now. First year car, and you've made it to the end of endurance. You must be really pleased with that. Yeah, we are really, ha we, we are really happy right now. It's just unbelievable. It's awesome. We worked so hard for this moment, and now we made it. And all that testing at night must have pulled, must have uh, been worth it. Now, uh, come on. the testing that you were doing at night with the headlights. We just tested during the night, so we kept our headlights. And that's just what we are. We are night, night drivers. I don't. Know. Very well done, well done guys. Great to see a first year team doing so well. And uh, it's clear to see how much it means to them. So. Well, we can now we've got the uh, Wolfenbüttel car, car 33 out on circuit. So, seeing very uh, good success rate on endurance so far. Five cars completing it. from Buddle. The uh, guys said that they uh, had competed the car very late and uh, they had uh, a lot of problems with the steering system the day before the competition. Oh, well, car 33 on its first lap, I think it's going to set a pretty respectable time. 65, 421. It is quick. So, Zarbrücken come across the line. And uh, 66, 534. So, we've certainly seen these uh, four cars all picking up the pace as ISAT receive their last lap board. So, they'll be in for driver change very shortly. This is uh, going to be them at half distance. 